New, co-living, housing options strike the swings in New York. Nandita Iyer landed in New York, United States from Bombay, India without knowing anyone, but she did not want to live alone in a sketchy studio. So instead she opted for a room in a co-living unit. She lived with roommates in one of the 14 apartments in a small building run by the housing startup quarters in the trendy Lower East Side neighborhood. The best part of the arrangement, she said, are the common areas, a large kitchen with a big table and comfy couches, a terrace where she can work and a luxurious rooftop patio. I met people from such different backgrounds. And I became very good friends with them, she said. And she even found mentors to help with her job search. Group living arrangements are not new. Dot many people have lived with roommates, in student dormitories or retirement homes. But with housing costs skyrocketing in major cities and a new changing lifestyle, startup companies are offering to take care of everything for renters, including the social life of their residents. Demand for these new group housing arrangements is on the rise, especially among young people aged 18 to 35, the millennials. So more and more projects are appearing on the rental landscape. Real estate brokers Cushman and Wakefield estimated in May that the major U.S. living startup had about 3,200 rooms available with 16,700 in the pipeline. The new players include Quarters, Common, Ollie, Star City, S Social Community, The Collective and Lois. Quarters manages three residences in New York and Chicago and is preparing to grow quickly. Its German-based parent company, Medici Living, just raised million to expand in the U.S. market, in addition to 1 billion euros to develop in Europe. Social Network We provide an easy solution for people looking to move into big cities, said Joe Hirak, head of U.S. operations for quarters. From the virtual tour to the signing of the lease, everything can be done online. Then you just move in with a suitcase, since units are furnished. The companies also reduce many traditional sources of friction between roommates by taking care of all the practical details, basic products such as toilet paper, cleaning, internet or electricity bills. During the week, we are so busy. Housekeeping is really helpful, says resident Harry Kuro, a 29-year-old architect. After finishing his studies he was researching what would be the easiest way to move to New York. He set his sights on Ali's third project in a large new building in fast-growing Long Island City. The startup occupied the third of floor in the complex, with 422 beds available in 169 apartments. Amenities are more sophisticated than at quarters, residents have access to a gym, golf simulator and top floor with open views of Manhattan, Brooklyn and Queens. Like many clothing providers, Ali posts that it organizes social events several times a week, like museum visits or cooking classes. It also allows residents to communicate with each other on a dedicated application. Millennials do not like to own a lot of things, said Alex Cohen, real estate agent for Hunter. They want to be part of a community. Cheaper option for renters? Everything about the project is geared towards optimizing the use of the space. In a normal apartment building, there is so much lost space, says Sophie Wilkinson, who is in charge of the design for Common. There is conflict to shrink the size of the room and expand living spaces like the kitchen. With smaller rooms, a living is 15 to 30 percent cheaper than a studio in the same area, the company stays. But that does not necessarily make them more affordable than a traditional roommate situation. Common, which offered 800 rooms in 27 buildings in 6 U.S. cities in June, hopes to be able to offer 2,000 by the end of the year. Every week, the company receives 3,000 requests. Noting the rapid rise in popularity of counterparting by companies like WeWork, Medici Bruce spokesman Volker Binendi said that something similar could happen to co-living. We are now focusing on these millennials, but they grow older. We can perfectly imagine doing the same things for young families in our building, he told AFP. Projects for families could include shared child care services, for example. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.